Hello everybody, welcome back to Talking Fitchburg, and we are in the guest segment, and today I am joined by a specialist of sorts, a sustainability specialist, <laughs> it's Erica. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks for having me on, Preston. You're so very welcome. It, I know, it's a, it's a real treat for you. It you is get a to treat. come on the show. I always enjoy coming over once a month, and this is a great time of year. It's getting cold, my fingers and my hands are cold. Yep. But I'm looking forward to good food. Me too. And it's almost Thanksgiving. Speaking so. of good food and yes. being almost Thanksgiving, let's talk about turkey. Let's talk about it. So as <laughs> all of you know, I'm the sustainability specialist for the city. And mm -hmm. so I'm always thinking about ways that we can celebrate in more sustainable ways. Because there are so many options out there, particularly <laughs> in Dane County. Oh, yeah. We're very lucky. So today I thought we'd talk about food miles and food waste. What is a food mile? A food mile is really simply how far away is your food grown okay. and, and how far does it take to get to your table. Okay. And as I said in Dane County, so many options when it comes right. to Thanksgiving on where you can get your food. Um, there's lots of poultry farms mm -hmm. in Dane County and in the area, and so many different choices of the types of turkey that you can purchase. Right, right. Um, and typically when we talk about food miles and local food, the rule of thumb is about 100 miles. So, okay. I mean, that really does give you a lot of options. 100 miles? <laughs> hey, that's quite a ways away. Right. So draw a 100-mile radius around Dane County, and there's there's plenty of local awesome amazing locally grown sure. food yeah so at any rate let's start with turkey let's Speaking start with of turkey, turkey right? I mean, that's the main event that is the main event so. and you don't want to go wrong with that um you know the other part that goes with buying local a lot of mm -hmm. times is how how the turkey is raised sure. and it can be better for the environment better for your health if you have, you know, sort of fewer chemicals and of course. and fertilizers used in in their feed, so some some labels to look for are things like the sort of the trendy hot fad right now is heirloom and heritage birds. Oh, right? okay, yeah. I tried one once because I wanted to know what it was all about. What's and, this fuss all about? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, you're gonna pay a higher price, but I have to say, I mean, the flavor is amazing. So you gotta kind of it's trial and error to find out what you're willing to spend and and then figure out if that was really worth the expense okay um, yeah. that's part of it because there's so many other choices of pasture raised um or free range is another label yep. non-gmo yep. um, is something you might see those are all really good choices of course okay. organic as well but that just refers to their feed honestly if you have a turkey running free on yep. pasture i think you're gonna get a really nice bird Absolutely. for your thanksgiving sure. dinner um, and then um, let's talk about cranberries because I, I don't know if a lot of people know that Wisconsin is the number one cranberry producing state in the country. We are. A lot of people so. standing out there in waist high water yeah. surrounded by little red berries. Absolutely. So we produce something like 60% of the cranberries grown in the country, which is a lot. So we got to take advantage of that. I know the the gelatinous the can is canned tempting. stuff is tempting, but <laughs> I actually found a great recipe for okay. fresh cranberries with ginger and pear. That's my all-time favorite, okay. but I know everybody else has their favorite recipe too. So I'm just uh, trying to say, give it a try. You put a, put in a good word for the fresh right. cranberry exactly. option. Exactly. Forget exactly. the can this year. Right. And then if Andrew wants to put up this chart, we can okay. kind of look at on average how many miles. I love of, graphs. Some of our Thanksgiving um, delights, where they come from. And just want to note this graph. People can go over to sustainableamerica.org if they want to find yep. it for themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So so again, you know, potatoes, plenty of those grown in Dane mm -hmm. County. Of course, we have the Central Sands region too, which is probably about 100, maybe a few miles more. But, you know, all of these items you can find um, easily mm -hmm. within 100 miles of us. Uh, tomatoes might be a little out of the realm of possibility at this point. Right. And I mean, if you looking <laughs> at this graph, seeing the difference i mean the 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 brown part of the graph which is very very tiny is only how far those things have to to travel to you right and the massive orange bar is how far those things have to travel from a conventional source so right. 
this chart is awesome because it really illustrates the differences, like orders of magnitude. Exactly. And honestly, I mean, because Dane County is so focused on, um, you know, community supported mm -hmm. agriculture and local food initiatives, our food miles are probably even less than this. This is a national average. But when you're looking at the top of those orange bars, mm -hmm. that's that's produce coming from California sure. primarily, or maybe the apples are coming from Washington. Mm -hmm. So um, really, we're so lucky to live where we do. And to have the, the high quality of food that we do and the amazing mm -hmm. farmers who are growing it for us. So, yeah. Um, so um, I hope everybody has a delicious meal. Me and then let's talk about what happens after the meal. Yeah, that's because, an important part. Yeah, it's a very important part. And we all know Thanksgiving's about food mm -hmm. and there's always leftovers. Yes, <laughs> always. Always. So um, send those leftovers home with your guests. I'm stating the obvious here. Put things in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Part of why I'm stating the obvious is that Americans waste 40% of their food. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. So think about all the energy that goes into that, yeah. that whole yeah. process. So we need to find ways to reduce our food waste. Mm -hmm. Why not start on Thanksgiving, right? That's the perfect um, time. Since it's all about food and there's always an abundance of food. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that you want to think about, too, is to use all of that turkey, too. All of it. Especially if you buy the expensive heirloom one. Yeah. You know, you want to get all you Stretch can out of it. Stretch that dollar. Stretch Absolutely. the dollar. Absolutely. Throw that carcass in a crock pot. Make some uh, yummy homemade turkey stock mm -hmm. that you can use for soups or in recipes, you know, throughout the winter after you've yep. thrown it in the freezer. Of course. <laughs> um, Want to be safe, too, about it. Of course, it. of course. Um, also, I mean, find all of those great recipes beyond, you know, turkey noodle soup or whatever mm -hmm. that you can um, get use all of that meat if you don't like dark meat throw it in a casserole or something i yeah. have a great recipe also that i love for um turkey cranberry quesadillas that sounds really good right you make yeah. this cranberry relish with cilantro Ooh. it's so good yeah throw in a little monterey jack super simple super easy but you know try to think of something new so that you can use creative. all that all that meat exactly i love it i think yep. i'm gonna be coming to your to your place for thanksgiving you have all these recipes all these <laughs> or maybe come ideas. for leftovers <laughs> well, i hope so all right either way unfortunately we've come to the end of our time together there's so much to talk about with all with all this food and all kinds of creative ideas people yes. can you know always check on our facebook page our youtube channel for all of our segments with erica she's always got tons of ideas for sustainable things that you can do around the home so check all those out and then we'll just have to wait to hear what you have coming up for the next holiday season. Sounds good. Very shortly. Thanks for coming on the show today. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, more Talking Pittsburgh.